but once you switch on path tracing, that's a whole another leak. Alright, we know what the RTX 5080 is capable of, what the LSS4 brings to the table and why Reflex is a must have in any fast paced title. So now let's get into the real meat of it. How all this actually affects the visuals. Let's start with a big question. Is it worth turning on path tracing or is classic ray tracing already doing the job? Let's find out. Even with just ray tracing enabled, Doom the Dark Ages look like a million bucks. You get realistic reflections on metal and glass, dynamic lighting, physically accurate shadows and global illumination. The lighting effects are stunning and do a great job highlighting the medieval fantasy architecture and environmental details. But once you switch on path tracing, that's a whole another leak. The game shifts from looking good to looking like a movie. It's not just about more effects, it's about the quality of how light behaves. With path tracing, shadows are softer, more natural. Lighting is fully physically accurate, even in indirect shaded areas. Ambient light bounces realistically, even illuminating dust particles in the air. Colors look better too, because light carries the color of surrounding surfaces, creating that subtle color bleeding effect. In-game, all this translates to more depth, mood and realism, especially in indoor scenes.